I'm going to show you my current favourite body lotion which is by Good Things. Um, I think I've mentioned them in maybe one of the other videos, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Um, but this is really awesome and I will be taking it on holiday with me, kind of in place of an after sun or something like that because it's really like cooling on, on your skin, on my skin anyway. And there's another one which is, I believe, pomegranate and something or other. Um, and they're both excellent. I really couldn't uh, choose between them. They're both really, really lovely moisturisers. Um, of course, um, good things. Uh, don't test on animals. Um, they are suitable for vegans. Don't say, yeah, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And there's no parabens or mineral oils. And yeah, it's just a, they're a really lovely brand. And this is a really lovely product. Um, also by Good Things is my moisturiser, my daily moisturiser. I've actually just started using this. It's called Face the Day and it's really, really great. Very creamy. Um, it's it's relatively rich, which I quite like because I, I like to feel like I'm being properly moisturised. Um, the only downside to this um, is the fact that it doesn't have an SPF which I do like in my moisturisers. Um, fortunately, my tinted moisturiser has an SPF in it, so that kind of balances it out. But um, other than that, uh, this is fantastic. I really, really love this and it smells all the good things. Products smell incredible. Um, not synthetic or anything like that. It just, it smells quite natural. And this one is goji berry and papaya. So both of these products um, I will be using right the way through the summer and I will be taking them on holiday with me and yeah they're just they're just great and I really recommend this brand and it's so great to see them doing well because I remember when they first came on the market and they were relegated to the, the bottom shelf and you know unfortunately I think a lot of people just look at the eye level shelves and, and miss out on a lot of really great products that are on the bottom but they're slowly making their way up which is fantastic good things. Um, next up which is really important uh, me and my husband we always take snack bars wherever we go so on the beach we're going to be taking lots of little snacks because when you choose not to to eat animal products you can get caught out on you know occasion and I do like raw bars and things like that but these are really cheap and um, it might be a little bit strange it is baby food um, intended for children but uh, the reason that we, we actually like these is because the ingredients um, the ingredient ingredient list is is so good like it's just oats raisins a little bit of sunflower oil, apple juice, cocoa and vanilla extract and normally when you buy bars, you know cereal bars and whatever else, there's so much you know sort of crap in it that um, it kind of puts me off so I'd rather have the, the baby food thank you very much and um, and why is that? Why do we put loads of you know crap and adult food and then the baby food seems to, well the organic baby food uh, seems to be you know relatively um, unprocessed or whatever so yeah I really like these this is uh, organics goodies and this is the cocoa and raisin one which is really nice and my other favorite is the carrot cake uh, yeah a really nice little snack bar for your bag just to make sure you don't get caught out um, now this is what I'm currently wearing as my nail varnish it is by Kiko um, obviously it's like a crazy blue color um, now I've tried to find out, I know that this brand do not test on animals, I know that for an absolute fact because when I was last in the store um, I asked the, the lady and she's vegetarian herself, uh, it's the one in Stratford in Westfield and she was like oh no we don't test on animals, I'm an animal lover and we would never do that and I know it's a huge company but anyway she was Italian, they're Italian, she seemed, she was the manager and she was very passionate about it so um, I kind of like that. Uh, my sister actually bought me this um, so I didn't actually purchase this myself because I admired it and then I was like oh I'm not sure and then the next day she went and got it for me which was really nice and I'm currently wearing it on my toes which I can do some like weird thing like that, I don't know if you can see, um, I might be a little bit weird, I'm quite bendy and uh, yeah so 
I'm wearing it on my toes at the moment. I have worn it on my nails and it's just, it's really fantastic. It goes on really easily. Two coats, stays on forever. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm loving the fact that they just don't test on animals and they are quite, you know, emphatic about it. So that that's good. So it's cruelty free in that sense. I believe that the nail lacquers are vegan, but I'm not 100% sure. So again, if you're, you know, not entirely convinced, then research a little bit further, email them or whatever. But um, like I said, my sister bought me this, so, and I know that it's not tested on animals and therefore I'm happy to use it. And I will be using that throughout the summer. Okay, very, very quickly, I've got an organic um, vest top by Annie Greenabell. And I seen this, this is actually in their sale at the moment, and I seen this on their website and I just fell in love with it because it's organic cotton, obviously, um, which is fantastic. And it's all ethically made and um, what is it, let me say, ethical clothing made with love. Um, and I really love this, this brand, Annie Green and Bell. Um, they've got kind of, um, all their clothes have, they're it's a little bit kind of vintage-y kind of looking, a little bit retro. Um, lovely dresses, beautiful skirts. I've actually got my eye on a skirt at the moment from there. And yeah, I just really like, um, you know, their, their ethos and, and what they're all about. And this, I'm going to obviously wear it with jeans and, and whatnot and little skirts and, and everything else. But I thought it would be a great kind of top cover up for the beach um, because I got some really awesome uh, high waisted uh, pants for these are my bikini pants. I know they look like Bridget Jones's pants. I am very aware of that. And when I pulled them out, when they arrived yesterday and I pulled them out of the, the package, my husband was like, they look quite big. And yes, they are, but they're supposed to be like that. And uh, yeah, they, they're really cool because obviously they come up, you know, quite high waisted and then you've got that over the top and then I'm covered and then I feel great because I'm not getting too much sun. I did get the little top to go with it, just so you know. So yeah, it's all there. It's all there. Polka dots and everything. Uh, so that's my bathing suit for, for the beach and my Anna Garina Bell mint vest top. I think they've got one in peach as well, which is also very sweet. Um, it's currently £12 in the sale. Bargain. And I think that's everything. That's quite a lot. So, you know, don't forget the sandals. These are top pick. Um, and the bag from Zara. Fabulous. Uh, the Green People Sun Lotion, which is just... Forget all that, you know. Well, I'm not going to name names, but, you know, the bigger brands? Nah. Let's go for the smaller brands who are, you know, doing it well, organic not testing animals, all that jazz. Um, don't forget your, your bar for the beach. You don't want to be caught out, be starving. Everyone's got ice creams around you and you've got nada. Bring one of these and then you're sorted. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, and I shall be back in the future at some point. Uh, but for now, I wish you all a very happy and hopefully sunny summer. All right, bye. If you did want to get yourself in some uh, polka dot Bridget Jones's bikini bottoms, um, these ones are from ASOS. Um, I can't remember what the price was individually because they were I bought them as separates, um, but as uh, as a set they came to about twenty pounds, I believe. So the whole set came to twenty, which I think for a bikini is pretty reasonable. Um, there are lots of really nice ethical bikinis on the market as well. Um, it was just that I I did I want the high waisted Bridget Jonesy type ones because then I I don't like getting my belly out on the beach. It's just me. Um, yeah, so that's where it's from. ASOS.